How much does this bike weigh? I brought the scale to find out. I can't do it. more cappuccino or a flat white I don't know one thing is certain is I need to work on my latte art I've been trying to perfect that over the years and I still can't get it right but I needed this cappuccino because I was up late last night watching the Donald Trump impeachment trial you can see how the Capitol Police created a line and blocked the hallway with their bodies to prevent rioters at the end of the hall from reaching you and your staff and I'm watching all that as it unfolds but what's been on my mind lately is the city bike what's the best city bike for my town for your town for getting around town for commuting a to B back and forth to work and I've tried many over the years to try to get that perfect city commuter bike This is the bike I'm using every day. It's a Bianchi, a rusted out Bianchi. I bought it used on the other side of the river. Look at this thing. New handlebars, new brake levers, new brakes. I bought the rims, I bought new tires, bought the spokes, build up my own wheels. What bike do you use? Uh, my mother-in-law's. <laughs> <laughs> it's her mother-in-law's city bike. What's your name? Jack. Joe, there you go. Joe from England. I bought it used for like 50 bucks across the river on the other side of town. The lock is more expensive than the bike because here in Florence, you need to have a good lock to protect your bike. Bye, Joe. And I even customized it with a nice, smooth Brooks saddle. Joe would be happy. It's from England as well. Always need a bell when you're around town to let the pedestrians know you're coming. Look at that, little wine corks jammed in the handlebars to close out the handlebar tape. It's those little details that make a difference. It's got a chain guard, but it's rusted out. It still keeps you dry, keeps the grease off your pants. That's important. And one thing of note here, I don't know if you can see it, the crank arms are misaligned. And that could prevent me from putting out optimum power when I'm cruising around the city. But hey, it's a city bike, so that probably doesn't even matter. And I know you're probably concerned about weight. Well, let's find out how much this thing weighs. 13.9 kilograms. It's heavy. But hey, you want this thing to be a bomb because you're riding around the city. You don't want it to fall apart on you. Now I have another bike that I rarely use and I'm gonna pull that one out to show it to you. What is the best city bike? The yours! Beautiful Bianchi! <laughs> Via Condotti! Do they steal the bikes in Florence? You've got a strong uh, padlock. Bella, Benjamin. Mr. Brown's Bianchi. This is my Bianchi Via Condotti, named after a famous street in Rome, but it's impractical. It's got 21 millimeter tires, very narrow. When I first got it, it had curved handlebars on it. I changed it out, put these city style handlebars on it and different brakes. It was a fixie when I got it and those things are dangerous. Now it has a freewheel, single speed. I added a cool basket. When I lived in a smaller town, I used this bike a lot. It was practical. Here in Florence, I wouldn't dare leave it on the street. They would rob this Celeste Green Bianchi. It's so beautiful. Much like this classic Bianchi here behind me. I changed out the saddle. I put a Brooks saddle on this one as well. Titanium rails. And also, you see this beautiful external cable routing. Well, the chrome seat and chain stays. These wheels too. Yeah, I built those wheels myself. Hand-built wheels. So, a very beautiful bike, but the reality is I need to sell that. If anybody wants to buy this bike, let me know. You always need a bell on your bike. Safety first when you're out there on the streets. Do you want to guess how much this bike weighs? 11 kilograms. Not bad. Lighter, than my, <laughs> lighter than my other Bianchi City bike. 11.3 kilograms. Aluminium frame. Uh, I think it, is it aluminium frame? Ah, steel, steel frame. frame. 
and a steel fork. Steel frame, steel fork, that explains why it rides so well. Now there's one more bike I want to show you. You see them all around town. They're these orange and white Mo bikes, share bikes. This is the electric Mo bike. Well, now it's called Movi bike. It used to be called Mo bike. And what's cool about these bikes is you scan it with your phone and you're charged by the minute or you have the monthly billing option as well. I use the charge by minute option. It has an orange beautiful basket. You can put your groceries in there and cruise around town. Non-electric ones have gears. They have like three speeds. They have a bell so you're good to go. The electric one has a turbo switch here. So when you're heading up a hill and you need that extra bit of energy, you hit that turbo switch and shoo, and in this basket, I don't know how practical it is, but it has a little cup holder here. You'd probably never want to put your cappuccino or coffee to go in there because these tires are so thick. I think they're solid on these paving stones around town. The bike bumps around so much, your coffee would jump out completely. It'd be a mess. Don't do it. Don't put your beer in there because it's going to get extremely fizzy. When you open it up, it's going to explode. On these electric ones, you see the guys come by at night. They change out the batteries. So these bikes are almost always charged. You hop on them, you go. It's much like the share car you see in different cities and you also see here in Florence. You're charged by the minute, it's convenient. You park them wherever you want. And sometimes that's been a mess because we've seen them parked outside the Piazza del Duomo or on the bridge or actually thrown into the water. And some cities around the world have had problems with that. But mostly these share bikes are a good thing to have pretty practical. Look at those wheels. Those are heavy duty. You're not going to puncture with these wheels. You're not going to risk crashing. Good security and that's something to think about because those scooters around town, you could crash on those. These things are bomb proof, much more bomb proof than the wheels on my bike that I built myself. It looks like a single speed something back there with an internal hub. I'm not sure what it is, but the thing works. It zips around town, zips uphill, zips downhill. At times it seems a little bit too fast. È troppo veloce a volte. Prezi. How much does this bike weigh? I brought the scale to find out. I can't do it. Something like 45, 35 kilograms. I can't lift it up high enough to even get a proper measurement. But these bikes are heavy, but it doesn't really matter because you're not carrying them up and down the stairs of your house. When you're done, you close it with the app on your phone and you're good to go. This is the barber shop, Mateo. He's always saying I need a haircut. Mateo, why do you always say I need a haircut? You need a haircut. No, it's a, you look good like this. I, I look good. Thanks, Mateo. I promise I'll come by next week for a haircut. Bye-bye. That's Mateo. He's always saying I need a haircut. I don't think I need a haircut. Think I need a haircut? Which bike is best? Which bike is be which bike is best and which bike is best suited to you? Got a new package. New SATA cables. You know that hard disk that I got last week? I put it in my computer and I realized I didn't have the right sat the cables to connect it. These guys, I'm gonna connect it to the hard disk, get it connected to my PC, and get some extra storage space. So that green bike, honestly, I need to get rid of it. It's a beautiful bike, Celeste Green Bianchi, but I never use it and I can't pull it out because if I lock it up out in the street, someone's gonna steal it. And so it's not very practical because each time I wanna come in and out with my bike, I have to go up and down the stairs. Although I like that basket and it looks so cool, but really I think it suits somebody who lives in a different area, who has a garage, they can pull it up in and out. The Black Bianchi, now that's my everyday driver and that one suits me the best because I leave it locked out in the street. I paid very little for it, around 50 to 60 bucks. I paid more for the lock. Why do you need a bike like this? Because it's stealth. No one sees it, no one notices. It's not glossy and shiny, so no one's gonna steal it. The other thing too, you have a lock, you strap it to the frame, it has fenders so you're protected from the rain, and it's already rusted out. You don't care if it rusts anymore. Make sure you put a light on there. I have an LED light on there now, but the battery is dead. You need a bell on there, that makes it more practical. I need to take the basket off of that green Bianchi bike and put it on this bike, then it'd be perfect. I could run around town, get bottles of wine, whatever I want, some meat from the Machelaria, and bring it home. That bike would be super convenient. Right now, it's stealth. It serves its purpose and it survives the elements out there. The Movi bike, the Mo bike, what about that bike? 
That's all about convenience because it's not your bike. You just rent it by the minute. You go out there with your smartphone. You start it and stop it when you want to. I also use that when I'm going to go meet a friend in the center and I don't know my plans afterwards. And so I can ride it into the center, close it on my app and leave it and forget about it. That's no longer my bike. It's no longer on my mind. I no longer have to worry about it. Maybe later I walk home. Maybe later I go to dinner and I don't even need to think about that bike. So it's convenient, charge by the minute. Many of the big cities have them now and that same app for the Moby bike works in the different cities. In fact, I used that Movi bike app when I was in Shanghai and I rode a bike around there on the Movi. It had so much fun. Bikes are definitely a cool way to explore the city. Those other things we're seeing popping up quite a bit and I just see like three of those right outside my house are those scooters. Mono, mono patine is what they're called in Italy and here in Florence they're requiring now you wear a helmet because those things are super dangerous. They're convenient and I think for the companies it costs less money for them to put them out there and so we're seeing more of those things. But those things are so upright, the wheels are so small that if you hit any little hole and believe me there are a lot of holes out here on these roads, you're going to go head over on that bike and you hit some pavement. I had a friend James who had a crash in Brussels. He lost two front teeth. One they were able to find on the pavement, pick it back up and put it back in the hospital. The other one they never found it. He had to put a false one in there and those things are dangerous so keep your eye out when you're using those things but the mo bike made by many of the same companies those things are convenient the share bike whatever you call them in your city those are good and those beat the bikes that you see before we saw those other bikes before I remember in Paris I'd used the bike and they're still there where you pull them in and out of the stalls but the problem is whenever you want to park it you got to find a stall to put that bike back in and many of the times in the popular areas the stalls are filled up so it's inconvenient. Whatever city commuter bike suits you best is the one that fits your city best. When I lived in Portland, Oregon I had a specialized alley comp this, this big tubed aluminum bike orange. It was hideous looking. Orange. I bought it used. I mounted an old group set on it and my mechanic was able to fit some fenders in there although the clearance was very small with the tires and those big aluminum tubes. I use this as my daily commuter zipping in and out of the cars. So it depends upon the situation. What the roads are like in your town and your city. How you get from point A to point B. Do you have good locking at work or at school? A good place to secure place to put your bicycle. When you get back home do you have to carry your bicycle up two flights of stairs or are you leaving it outside like I'm doing? Now I want to know what type of bike are you using? <laughs>